Hello people, welcome to my Let's Play Season 3 Episode 23. I can't believe we are already at Episode 20, 23, oh dear. Uh, today I want to craft some stuff in here, some Thonecraft and also some Red Power 2. I want also to finish my Moth Trap, which can be seen on the sky uh, with, without diamonds, sadly. Moth Trap in the sky with diamonds, mmm. Oh well. Anyway, uh, first thing I need to do is craft uh, at least one beast pump. However, for that I require one arcane velos, which are crafted like so. So I am going to need four enchanted woods and another six, so ten enchanted woods. It's going to be the first step. The second is going to be an aqueous crystal and a vaporous crystal. Oh dear. Well, fortunately, I do have both of them. Uh, we're going to need also leather, which I have more than enough. And we're going to need some iron and some some craft piping, like this. One should be more than enough. Okay, so we right now need a piece of iron, which can be taken from here. And we can go in here and craft it. We can locate it among these uh, huge men. Oh, look. Rest power to computer at its finest. Uh, yeah, arcane bellows. Or we can go directly for the beast pump. Let's go. Let's do that. Oh, of course, I need some empty space. And there we go. Perfect. And we made some space. Yeah, this is the only drawback for using the crafting table 3 in a let's play. We sadly won't be seeing the recipes while we craft. Don't worry. We have an AI to show it to us. Now, the beast pump uh, has a very definite function which is to move the items into the system to make them go uh, with with the flow so to speak the problem i am facing right now is essentially that uh, all the bees untamed i am producing is staying up there with my um, uh, cauldron of souls and not going down so i need to make it happen that will uh, be the job of the beast pump. Also, something else I wanted to do, yes. We are going to craft uh, some rest power 2 items. A transposer and a deployer. Transposers are crafted like so and are like uh, the filters, but they only pick one item at a time or several items, I don't know. It's uh, essentially what you use instead of obsidian pipes in Red Power 2, but it has a slight option, or not. Yes, it has a, a slight advantage, and it's that it takes a 3x3 three three area instead of just uh, immediately over it. And the other is the deployer, crafted like so, which uh, essentially is like, uh, like right-clicking. If I right click on the on an item, it would be the same as using the deployer. So let me get rid of all this extra stuff I don't really need. And we can go up upside and, and get into some trouble. Okay, you can see I made here a teleporting system. And that's because we're going to use, uh, for example, uh, in here. Hello, are you there? No, no, you're not there. Oh, dear. Oh, a zombie. Z a wild zombie appears. So, here it is. With H, we'll locate it. And now getting outside might be a little trickier. Or not. And well, we can't make it uh, go across the portal. We can cr cross first, and the item will be placed in here. Perfect. 
and you can see that Cave Spider was uh, taking damage. That's essentially because the cauldron is making it happen. Okay, there we go. And mm, let me see. Can I place you there? Yeah. Yes, I can. Perfect. Now the only thing we need to do is to close this gap. And let it be a completely dark room. There we go. Perfect. You can see I place here a magic and earth uh, symbol that will ensure that uh, a 3x3 area remains loaded. I know I have a 5x5 downstairs, but I just wanted to be exceedingly sure. A wisp is in here. So, what else do we want to do? Well, first I want to don my electric jetpack, engage hover mode, and come here where you can see, whoa, it's hard to keep your attitude, especially if we... Ah! See, that's why the flying ring from Equivalent Exchange is better. Okay, we made it. You can see it is, uh, well, taking a lot of, uh, of beasts and taint. So we are going to need to do something regarding that. Now let me place here a small platform and uh, some light source to make sure nothing spawns and we can go down with uh, the hover mode and place the different systems in here. Okay, I just uh, finished tweaking this system a little and you can see I place the um, pump in here and a bellows in there. It was either that or placing another pump upstairs. And I didn't want to do that. Uh, why is that? Uh, well, essentially I believe this uh, atomic uh, setting is too long for a single pump. So there you go. Pumps have limits. Just remember it. Uh, I've also placed a uh, vis valve. If you remember, they are crafted, uh, there it is, with two conduits and a lever. And I am going to place the vis purifiers. After testing a little, I believe each purifier uh, deletes one single unit of taint. So it's not really all that uh, marvelous, so to speak. And let's hope this will work. We have right now 46 and 70 taint in there. Let me solve these little issues with uh, where are we in a, at each point. Oh, shift, jump. Okay. I can do it. Yes, I can. And yes, I know I should uh, delete this system in here. Oh, by the way. There we go. Perfect. Should improve my frame rate. Now, if I turn this on, I set uh, 46 and 64 taint or something. And some is getting in. And yeah, we might be having the same issues we had in here. It's maybe too long. Maybe. Hmm. 42 and 66. Mm -hmm. Let me check something upstairs. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. No, I don't want the hover mode right now, thank you. Okay, service, certain. And yeah, I should place a portal spawner, I mean uh, a portal or something up, up here as soon as I discover the right combination for portals.
that hover mode enabled just in time. So I believe I am going to need to craft myself another of these uh, systems. So there we go. We're going to need another unit of iron, some more redstone, maybe? I don't remember right now. Oh dear, last unit of iron. Well, we can do a trick in here, which involves using the macerator. And I believe our, we are finished with the quarry. And another thing I need is enchanted wood. I, a regular iron I need it. Oh, of course, can't uh, remove this one from here. Because then this one wouldn't have any place to go. Okay, now uh, I'm going to need an animal leather. An aqueous and uh, no, one of these and the vaporous crystal, ten enchanted woods, which is my last. Oh, they are should be collecting soon. And let's check how this works out. Hello, can I craft? Yeah, this pump, perfect. Ah, oh dear, I just managed to get myself into this little mess. So, I wanted to avoid uh, this, but, oh well, whatever. See, now it works. So, I place this in here and this in here. Of course, if you remember right, which I usually don't. The sucking part, the one that's uh, there, we are arcane tinkering tools. The one that's moving is pointing to where it is taking the the stuff. And of course, we have a slight problem right now because it won't work on three dimensionality. Now we remove oh dear four units of taint. Anyway, we can't have this pumping here because it's useless. Yeah, useless. Oh dear, I don't have the slightest idea of what am I doing. Now I am like a like a dog with a laugh coat. I became a meme. Oh, I didn't knew what to do with my life, so I became a meme. There we go. Beast pump. Turn over, please. And connection, okay, fortunately it's not connecting, oh, perfect. Now this one is making a mess of things. <sighs> Very well, we shall modify this a little more. Uh, placing the valve again in here and now this goes like so perfect see how now we have only 56 taint now we engage this again and we see we are in an endless cycle where taint has, is being destroyed this is essentially how you purify at a uh, bees without stop and without pumping it into the atmosphere. Now I will enlarge the deposits a little more. And I didn't want it to, I didn't really want it to make it a full system there, but so oh well there's no liquid teleporting pipes for thomium after all. <laughs> This is not really needed. Okay, so with this being done and uh, letting things go its way, I believe it's time to try and make another item. 
first let's uh, storage this and this and w now we can work with the dirt yes we are going with we are going to work with dirt oh dear is that dirty for you mm. so we tidy a little some place um, let me think for a second where can we place it I like it in here and yes I know I just messed up uh, some stuff don't worry I can live with it I hope so what we're going to do is first we need to place the deployer uh, which is in here and let's place it in here for example now we need to place uh, here a 3x3 three three area perfect and now we need to encase it yes you heard me right we are going to encase this uh, little area into darkness oh so heavily and the main problem I am having right now is where to place stuff so it won't lag the game and won't be being essentially a mess hmm? where should I well I am placing this in here for example I might finish uh, building a, a wall all around this who knows okay I believe that's enough let's see what do we have in here zero chained 58 bees perfect of course I can just uh, hook in here something like uh, I don't know the re-energizing crystal or something like that and of course I did something awfully wrong in here this last one has to be the transposer Ta-da! It's pointing upwards. Don't worry. Sonic screwdriver. Let's shift and click. No? Well, a single click should do the trick. Perfect. Now, uh, I am going to need redstone and pneumatic tube. Let's craft uh, a full stack of redstone pneumatic tube. Okay there we go and there there we go so how this is going to work is essentially upside we are going to take items and downstairs we are going to place bone meal so let's see what happens when I place bone meal inside the deployer let's place just uh, two for testing purposes and let's graph a single lever. Where are you? Where do I have? Oh, a, a button should suffice. And like so. Okay, so we right now have this. Let's remove it. Uh, we see it's uh, all off. Let's try using the bone mill. And nothing happens, of course. I suppose it needs to be or is it the other way around maybe let me check for a second and of course there is a way yeah see if we turn this into cobblestone and then back into this there we go instant uh, grass isn't that overpower or what now let's check. Uh, is the bone mill working from below? Yeah, perfect. So let's place again the transposer in here. Let's rotate it. Shouldn't hurt. Uh, where did I place the sonic screwdriver? It's not uh, loud enough for me to find it at the first try. There we go. Perfect. And if we place this in here, you will see everything has disappeared. Why? Well, let's try again. Hop. And you can see a single flower spawned and something other stuff, which if I go in, in there, ta-da, flux seeds. But I didn't have any flux seeds on me. So that's essentially how it will work. We are going to place bone meal from below 
and take the spoils from over it. A clock will make it work uh, all the time, and that's it, essentially. And we didn't really need uh, this, yeah. I just uh, realized a second ago. So there we go. It's uh, like uh, 3, 12, and 8, 20, 20, co uh, 20 cobblestone or stone blocks, 9 uh, grass blocks, a transposer, a deployer, or something to keep them fed. What will it be? How we are going to keep this thing fed? Well, do not worry, my friends. We are going to do that. And you are going to enjoy it, I hope. So, uh, well, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, I believe I do have everything we need in here. Let me check for a second. Yeah, alchemical chests. There we go. I'm going to need at least two of them. Hopefully, yeah, there it is. Well, with these two alchemical chests, we can say, hey, diamonds and obsidian, energy condenser. Perfect. So, I need some obsidian. Four of it. Yes, insanely expensive, I know. Energy condenser. And if I had uh, the obsidian on me before, well, Let's craft a third one, and you can see it. Uh, it's four only, okay. As usual, I don't have any alchemical chest, but I can directly craft the energy condenser. Well, I can craft also the diving in rod, even if I cannot. And so I can craft more alchemy bags. So let's craft this energy condenser, so you can see it. Yeah, there it is. And let's uh, wait the night, and I will pro getting into the next stage. And I am crafting another transposer because, well, I need it. Yep, I do need another. Uh, okay, let's place it in like here, and we can place the energy condensers one in here and the other in there. Perfect. Now, uh, we are not going to need all this to be like so. We can just go with the uh, regular redstone tube. No, pneumatic tube, sorry. Okay, now th that's going in there, so in here should go another. There we go. Hopefully, the feeding system won't be messing with us much. And we will have uh, some stuff working. Okay, now uh, in this case I am placing here the bone mill and here I am going to place a diamond. You can see we are placing in the top something interesting and let's see how things work out for now at least. Now I do have a clock in my pocket. Haha, <laughs> how cliche. I don't really have much of uh, cabling, but I have stone jacketed wire, which is more than enough when we are talking about this. Uh, we are going to need some red alloy and isolated wiring also, but don't worry. So I am essentially hijacking this as a regular system. And there we go. Now essentially this in here works like a transmitter for everything. So let me see, if I place... Mm, where can I place the clock? So it will work in here. Of course, it, the uh, simple solution would be to work the clock in here. Yep. <clears throat> mm, okay, if I place... The, uh, in here and in here I can place the clock like so I can place this in here and I can place a lever on the side yeah the, I, it's not necessary for me to make it so complicated but so yeah 
Okay, now hopefully uh, this transposer will take items from here, bone meal, place them inside the deployer, which will place them, uh, which will use them, and then the transposer here, which we, uh, which doesn't have an inventory we can access, will try to get all the items at once. Now, how is this going to work? We connect the system in here, and you can see a piece of bone meal has been fed. So let's say time interval one second. Let's try it. And items are starting to get outside of the top. Hmm. Okay. Let's try placing another tube in here. No, not redstone tubing. Sorry. Uh, pneumatic tubing. So, to see if they will go side to side. And I believe we'll out, we're out of uh, bone meal. That can be solved oh so easily. Okay, let me have a look upstairs, upstairs to see if something is going horribly, horribly wrong. It is indeed. Indeed it is. So essentially the transposer is not working as I wanted to. So I believe it's the filter, the one that makes things go like so. Sorry, my bad. Hmm. Well... But you can see we are generating a heavy surplus of bone meal in here, and half of it is it will go to make diamonds. So let's solve that uh, making um, oh dear, making another of those systems. Uh, what was it? Uh, filter. Yeah. Oh, gold. Rest of wafers. Oh dear. Okay, I solved the issues. As you can see, I changed the way things work. Because uh, if we remember, I remember redstone, red power tools tubing works in a closest priority setting. That means it will prioritize this chest in here, and I drop some diamonds to ensure it's full. And in fact, I can, well, drop uh, something else in there. Uh, <clears throat> And once it's full, it will detour the items to this other chest. So now, we're, we should be seeing, and you can see it is uh, working rather nicely now, the, the failure was that the uh, transposer wasn't able to, well, work as intended, I believe, too closely to the bottom. Let's see, it is now working. Yes, it is now working. Perfect. So this is essentially a book, so I am making a small exploit in here. You can see essentially uh, that all this stuff is equating to one piece of bone meal. And you can see the items get inside, and then get used, etc. And if full, items will go through here where they are going to turn into diamonds. And I can just uh, turn it really ha is fast to ensure these things uh, work faster. Ta-da! We are now producing EMC at a very quick speed. So, uh, I believe this uh, warrants somehow ex uh, well, a good explanation on how the energy condenser works. Okay, the energy condenser can work into three different ways which are essentially the same. First, you can hook them to collectors, be it Mark 1, 2 or 3, and uh, they will co uh, take all the energy, that the collectors that are in contact with them, and condense it to try to make the item they have in here, in the target slot. 
the other option is of course uh, tie them to a relay which will burn the items for their EMC value or we can go for the final version which is essentially this one in here we place the condenser input items and get uh, instead let me make things a little more sane in here Yeah, like this is better. So essentially when you place items inside the condenser, th those items will be destroyed, burned instantly to get their EMC value to produce the target item. And since a late uh, patch, I believe the system won't be, what won't, ouch, won't keep uh, getting broken because uh, if you take out the item that was in the target slot, the item would uh, the system would just uh, break and so you will you will get uh, a game crash now it uh, it works by itself hey we're getting still some mobs upstairs right uh, the good thing about this monster spawner I have up there is that I could have made several stories without much trouble uh, it's essentially leaving <coughs> a two space uh, on top and three space when it comes to well those markings were which, which are where the water is and I believe oh no that's that's something else entirely you can see we're getting bees untamed and we can just open this and ensure that uh, we are getting the taint destroyed. So right now we have two different uh, machines working over time and uh, I should turn on this, this sorting machine. I need, and that is uh, a must given that I have already a clock outside, I need uh, to ensure this system is finally made. This uh, half of the sorting system needs to be finished as soon as possible uh, so I can forget completely about it, leave it uh, on all the time without suffering tremendous lag. Uh, I also should place some sort of recall system upside and you know I like to connect them to a project table. So that's essentially it for now. Let me find something else to do and I'll be back with you in a second. For, of course, first I need to replace the... Oh, yes. Let's craft another item I need uh, right now. We're going to need three of these, three sticks. And we're going to need three pieces of redstone. And those of you who know about uh, build craft and have seen previous Let's Play might know already what I am going to do. So I'm going to use, well, the <laughs> portable workbench, so to speak. I am going first to craft three redstone torches and th then three lapis lazuli. Now this is going to craft uh, landmarks. Landmarks are a special type of torches that will help us in a second. Let's go to where our quarry is, and I'll show you. Okay, it's not a big of a pro of trouble as I thought. It's not really finished. Yet. It just had some trouble with lava. Mm. And that can be solved by placing a water source up here. And be careful because... Okay. You can drop one, uh, but not uh, two. Perfect. Now, as soon as the water touches down there it will turn the um, well it will turn the lava into obsidian if it, there, those are regular blocks and it will turn the um, let me do something here for seconds okay perfect now it will go down and, and mine all that uh, lava that's there into obsidian 
And of course it would have been better if I had uh, placed the water before, because right now it is quite limited in what it can accomplish. However, I can just go here and place another water bucket in here and let the other half of the of the part hopefully work itself and turn into either cobblestone or even better obsidian. This is the reason because uh, lots of people place uh, water sources in the top of their quarries. So if lava is found on there, and you can see there's more lava in there, it will get turned into obsidian and get collected by the quarry. And the quarry, thanks to that, won't stop working. Let's grab ourselves some water. And uh, of course the landmarks serve a purpose in here. However, I will be showing it into the next episode where when my quarry finishes its work. So that has been episode 23. I hope you liked it. And you can see again we have some sort of trouble in our wheat farm. Essentially, our machines are stopped. Oh well. They tend to do that sometimes. Anyway, uh, you can see the EMC machine generator I made there using flowers on that little exploit is working rather nicely. In fact, given that it has already made four diamonds, I believe it's working even better than this cross in here that has in the same time crafted less than one Aeternalis fuel. Now, bear in mind, these are 3 Mark 1 and 2 Mark 2 collectors. So, if we pit uh, this little machine against a Mark 3, we might find it is uh, beating it. So, essentially, if you want to produce tons of EMC, this is the way to go. It is expensive because you need uh, these chests, which are not really all that. Uh, cheap, but it's more than enough. And of course, it can happen that you fill the system with some stuff. Uh, anyway, I will be taking some bone meal, which will come from my diamonds assignment in there and I will be crafting more of those uh, in the, uh, around somewhere and well craft more diamonds and of course that makes uh, this thumbcraft machine rather irrelevant and, though, and that system up there because if I can craft diamonds like madman I don't really need that contraption but I'll leave it in place and let it work it, its way so we can see what can it do and I will hook it to a crystal recharge system so this has been episode uh, 23 of my let's play I hope to see you in the next one and uh, have fun people and remember the next episode we will see more of those uh, EMC generators uh, somewhere <laughs> I still haven't decided where to place them uh, but well, we'll get a huge boost into the MC. Oh, by the way, I got the idea by watching the 8 episode special Feed the Beast of Direwolf 20 Let's Play uh, channel. Remember, you can find the Feed the Beast game uh, map in <clears throat> into the Minecraft forums. So, uh, have fun people and goodbye!